Hello friends. Year and a seven and a half months ago, I posted a video about an experiment which consisted of me grafting my micro broccoli cultivar, micro leaf broccoli cultivar. Uh, two sprouts and two branches of a much faster growing adenium in hope that it will grow faster and or bloom sooner but also with a fear that being grafted its leaves might enlarge well since then, several of you wrote to me asking for an update. And at first I hesitated because the results weren't clear enough. But the time has come. I think I know the answers. I think I can show you and explain. So let's take a look. This was the start of that video. The name was Adenium Micrografting a Small Leaf, leaf Cultivar. I might put a link to it under the title of this new video. You see these two sprouts with a ruler, how very small leaves and twigs and close to each other. These are the sprouts that I grafted. And further on in the video you can see me doing it, doing the grafting. So now let me show you the result. Here are the non-grafted si siblings of that plant. As you can see they are much larger than when they when I was ready to graft it. I'm gonna pick the biggest among them and the smallest among them and show you next to the grafted one how it looks. Here we go. Next to the biggest non-grafted, you can see that the grafted one, the leaf size didn't change. The plant's twigs are longer. And next to the smallest one, well, that's no comparison. Recently, well, what happened, if you saw the video, you noticed that the plant had a two branches. Only one of those grafts, only on one branch, caught. And so I cut off the other branch. And you might have noticed there was a tiny third branch also, which was not grafted. I cut these two branches to give more energy to this plant so it will grow as much as it can. Unfortunately, so far, it did not bloom. And I know from other species, not adeniums, that micro leaf cultivars of some other species of plants never bloom. For instance, some micro leaf azaleas never bloom. So I don't know if this will ever bloom. I sure hope so. 
but so far not. The reason I do have hope is because a grafted um, dorset hornadenium, oh, start to bloom very fast and has more and more flowers and more and more flower buds. So yeah, it it does work with some dwarf cultivars, but I so far cannot say one way or another with this one. Recently I transplanted this plant. So as a result of uh, transplanting shock, some leaves fell off. So the crown is not quite so thick as it, as it is usually. Into bigger pot than it was in hope that that will speed up growth and answer the bloom question sooner. You can see here I, during transplanting, unwrapped one root that was strangling it here. You see that? You see that ditch? So hopefully, hopefully the blooming might happen. I don't know. But uh, this is the result so far, the update to the experiment. It looks sort of like a palm shape, not a tree shape. And because I didn't graft it a twig, but I grafted the whole little plant, the whole little sprout, you can see the swelling on the bottom. Not only rootstock has a swelling, but actually the graft has a, that chubby bottom. Okie dokie, and that's all I have to say about this experiment. Goodbye my friends. See you next time with more new subjects or more new updates. If you didn't subscribe and you like this video, you can do so and you will get notified. If you press on a, when you subscribe on the little bell, you'll get notified when I'm posting a new video so you can easier find it. Bye-bye.